What's going on everyone? Meat Wagon here, and yes it is, it is Killzone 3 for the win. You know, I was just gonna make a little Link video here, but I thought, man, just put a whole video up and you can talk about the Link at the end or something. So, what, th what this is, is a game that me and my buddy True Killer jumped into a little bit late. It was uh, four to nothing, and we jumped in this thing, and it became for us the battle in the buildings. I just, I equipped a... Uh, I equipped an LMG, and um, we just uh, tried to stand our ground, and both teams were quite content just running in this building and killing each other. It was pre pretty funny, pretty chaotic, I tell you. It uh, with all the sounds of this game, and we actually came in. I think when it was three nothing, but the first part was was kind of weak. So I just started it here. Thought it'd be a little bit more fun, a little bit more exciting. You can see, you know. Sometimes taking the deaths with the kills, it's still a really fun game. I think in this one, I end up going like 30, I went 30 and 15, something like that. But it, it's not really about that. It's about us just, as soon as you spawn, both teams just keep running into these buildings and just laying down grenades and LMGs and just total craziness. It was a lot of fun to do. <laughs> I mean, I guess if I was on the losing side, I probably wouldn't have been having as much fun, but since we were up 4-0 and we ended up sweeping them 7-0, it, it was fun. <laughs> it's a lot easier to say it when you're on the winning team. So, But uh, this is that uh, snow drift map, and this is the war zone. Um, like I said, this is going to be a link video for a video I put up on Next Gen Tactics, the main channel, and it is a... It is a war zone on this same map, on the Akmir Snowdrift. And <clears throat> I talk a little bit about um, some some strategies, some tactics, and, you know, my feelings on a couple of the classes. You know, I, I, I wonder, are you guys, do you guys play this game much? Any, you know, the PS3 owners, obviously, you guys playing this much? I, I like the game, but you know what? You know what it's turned into for me with... It seems like they spread the games out so far, and you're, you know, there's those times you're looking for a new game. Nice little double right there. You're looking for a new game, and you're waiting. And then other times, a bunch of games get released all at the same time, and you got to share your time between all these games. Like, Crisis 2 just came out. And, you know, I've talked, if any of you guys have been subscribers of mine for a long time, I've talked in the past about how I like the sci-fi first-person shooters. Like, uh... Well, like this, like Resistance 2, like Unreal Tournament 3, as some of the older games goes. I, I mean, I liked Halo. I played Halo Reach is all I played. I, I didn't have an Xbox before that, but I did I did buy my Xbox. It's a Halo Reach Edition Xbox. I bought it for that to play that game, and I did enjoy it. Um, I really like sci-fi type first-person shooters as long as, as long as the game mechanics are there as far as, you know, it being a, a legit, a good game, which all those, all those games I just named there are legit. That's what I'm talking about. So, but here's the thing, Crisis 2, I, I didn't play Crisis. I think, I'm pretty sure it was only on PC, but, um, Crisis 2 looks really good as far as a sci-fi type shooter and it looks like the game mechanics are there and... So that just came out on last Tuesday. So now what do I do? I, I'm gonna pick that up. So it's trying just to split time between, you know, between Black Ops. You know, you, you that's always an old standby. You jump back on that, and um, like I said, though, playing these games and going back to Black Ops, it's hard to get readjusted back to that quick twitch, that real responsive shooter. When these are a little bit slower, a little bit different mechanic involved. Um, just take some time and uh, you know do some more zombie stuff I I don't you know actually I play more regular multiplayer games than I do zombies zombies is a uh, is one of my favorite things ever but it's not the the highest percentage I don't know if you guys think I play that all the time but I actually don't um, lately within I'd say the last six to eight months I only play zombies when we're doing like some unique challenges um, some just some weird things we want to go for when some new maps come out and have some fun with with all the rest of the NGT guys and 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 sometimes with you guys when I can you know it's just I get so busy I'd love to be able to play with you guys all the time but it's tough with with work you know full time work and then coming home and then wanting to play I mean I love playing video games I'm not just 
a video game Man, maker, a, a YouTube director. I'm a video game player first, so after work, I want to come home and play. I just, a lot of times, I don't even record. You know, I don't record all the time. I just, I just want to jump on with some friends and play some games and have some fun. So it's hard to, um, you know, to to do all of those things. You just run out of time. You hear True talking in the background. He's trying to talk over my commentary. <laughs> no, actually, uh, I like I haven't done any live stuff lately. I like to do some more live, um, uh, what do you call it, live commentary, where you can hear our our game chat. You know what I really want to do is get get a crew together, get my get my guys together, and run some tactical games where you really hear our our call outs and stuff like that. It, it, I think you guys would be interested in that because it's. That's something I'm interested in when other people do, you know, almost like a game battle type uh, communication. Um, you know, real strategic and all the call outs and everything. I think that's really interesting and it's, you get kind of a unique perspective on, on how certain people play, how we play and, you know, maybe it can help you out or maybe it's just for entertainment. So, might do some of that. That's, that's uh, really interesting to me. but. Crisis 2. I'm going to try and um, keep the Kill Zone 3 stuff going um, because I do like the game. And as I had said before, I never played Kill Zone before any of the other games in the series. And I like the game. Hopefully, it's one of those games that'll um, stick around for a while so you can jump back and forth with it and try some Crisis 2 out, see how that works out. Because I was watching the live stream, I was watching Spider Bites live stream last night. Um, I haven't streamed a little bit, but I'm going to get back to doing that as well. Um, but it looked like Crisis 2 was a pretty cool game. I, I'm definitely going to check it out. I'll put some of that stuff up. And I got that um, I got that other zombie clutch thing from that, that one game I'm going to put up for you guys. Um, probably, you know, I, I've been like one video a week lately. I'm going to try and get a few more out now that I, I've been back from... I was out of town for a while. And... Um, I'm going to do some in real life stuff for you guys too if you're interested in that. I had, I had promised over on, on Next Gen Tactics on, on the main channel there that I would do maybe an in real life of me doing some zombie training, you know, where I go out and I, I shoot some of my arsenal off and show you guys what I have here and <laughs> just some cool stuff, some interesting stuff. Change it up a bit, some more gameplay and anything you guys want, um, want to see, want to talk about, you know, leave it in the comments and, you know, I was really good about responding to comments before and I'm going to try and get back to that. I just, like I said, it's just been really chaotic for me lately. Um, but uh, I really appreciate you guys, all of you, commenting. You guys like my videos and, you know, rating the videos and stuff like that. And I appreciate it. I, and I like that you like the diversity. I know a lot of, a lot of you are big zombie fans, but, and some of you are here for other things. So if you are a big zombie fan, don't discount a video that may not be zombies. Check it out. It might be something that maybe just even entertainment value that you might want to see. So, um, But I just wanted to let you guys know that I really appreciate you all. This is this is a lot of fun doing this. You know, having um, subscribers and stuff like I do on my channel that are so supportive. And, you know, it makes me feel like I can put up anything and talk about anything and you guys are going to appreciate it and be honest with me and uh, we all just have a good time with it so I, I haven't said thanks in a long time I don't think I don't remember but I want to thank you guys I really really appreciate all of you and uh, yeah so this was uh, this was a fun little couple of rounds I got to spend the battle in the buildings on kill zone 3 with my super beast mode LMG anyway guys I'm gonna close it out here I'll put a link for my um, my video over on, on Next Gen Tactics, and as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.